Clubs? Yeah, fourth year, so obviously another exciting and big game again. It's always a big game between Clarence and Lauderdale, so we're really proud of it to align our logo alongside such a big rivalry and uh, hopefully raise a lot of awareness on the day. What's it done this game in the past for your organisation, I suppose? Has it, has it helped? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we really like to pride ourselves on doing a lot of work in sporting clubs, and Clarence and Lauderdale were two clubs that embraced our message um, right from the start. And so I think that we're really proud of the fact that they continue to do that uh, for years moving forward. And what it does is, you know, again, it's just another uh, big day where our logo is running around on jumpers and we get to do a lot of social media and media about it. And that's putting stay chatty in lounge rooms and that's really important. How have you seen the stigma of mental health changing within the sporting arena in the last few years? I think mental health stigma is, uh, you know, the awareness around it is huge these days. And, uh, I think over the years it's changed. I can't remember a lot of mental health focus, you know, rounds and uh, games happening five years ago when we started. So I think we've come a long way. Uh, and you just hope that backing that up is not just the awareness, but clubs are actually taking that and implementing something more important in their clubs as opposed to just the awareness and maybe putting their, their players and uh, coaching staff through some actual programs to learn more about what mental health is. There's your tip. Uh, Clarence. Fucking say that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is that fair Yeah, he's trained uh, the last couple of weeks and uh, he's moved really well in training uh, last night. And all reports he pulled up well this morning. So, for anything that uh, should happen that's unforeseen in the next couple of days, he'll, he'll definitely play. Oh, it's been good. It's a big lift for the boys too. That um, we've seen all the work and him and Bryce have been doing um, off the field to, to get their bodies right. So, to see him out there moving at full speeds uh, is a real lift. Expectations on him straight up. Oh, look, he's uh, he was probably the fittest guy at the club, or well, Bryce will argue with that, uh, in January. So to see him go down was devastating. Um, he's missed a fair bit of footy, but um, look, the expectations aren't that high. You know, his presence alone, he takes a key defender if he goes forward, when he's in the midfield, that you always have to worry about him at stoppages. So um, we just wanted to get through the game unscathed. That's probably our expectation. What did you make of last weekend, mate? Was, you guys came back quite strong, according to North Launces, and they dropped the ball. How did you rate the game? Uh, f very frustrating the first quarter. Uh, we made a lot of fundamental errors and went away from the game plan that we'd worked uh, so hard on during the week. But uh, to their credit, they responded to um, Windy's demands at quarter time, and, and we fought it out to the end. And to get within 16, 17 points in the last quarter, there was a really good opportunity to win the game. We just couldn't seal it. But I think it showed them that if they actually follow a process, then you know they, they can actually win up there, or at least give themselves a chance to win up there. But just back on four, um, was a genuine concern at one stage you might be back this year early on? Yeah, and that was, uh, <clears throat> that was probably more on Thor's part. He suffered this injury three times now and um, was just starting to play on his mind a little bit. And the, pro the, uh, the way we took it this year was just to let him go and do his own thing, not put any pressure on him on return dates or anything like that. So he's gone away, done his own thing, you know, done a lot of work away from the club, and he's made the decision now to come back himself. Will it be in the back of his mind on the weekend, then, do you think, when he's out there? Or? I had a chat to him last night on the phone after training, and uh, he actually said, no, nah. he said it's not worrying him at all. The, I think the, the time frame on these injuries is usually three months, and he's given it six, so he's certainly given it a, a lot of time to heal. So, no, he, I think he's pretty clear on that. What did he actually do? How did it happen? He keeps getting like a small fracture on the outside of his foot and it's not from anyone standing on his foot, it's just a twisting motion that seems to open it up and um, yeah, I, th I think he's just been unlucky probably a couple of times but he, he's doing all that sort of movement on the track now so he should be fine. What was the push Clarence argument been in a strong position the last quarter the first few times you've played and you're probably playing better footy now, do you feel as though that you're ready to finish the job off? Yeah, oh, look I think... Uh, They've been really good games, and anyone that's gone and watched will say that they've been really good games of football. Uh, I think both times we've kicked really inaccurately, which, is, which has hurt us, and I think the games have been under three goals both times. So um, we're certainly playing better football than what we did at the start of the year, and um, we've got guys that uh, are more familiar with our game style and game plan, so yeah, I think that puts us in good stead. Bruce, uh, your thoughts on how they're travelling? Uh, Clarence have been uh, exceptional all year, and... Uh, you know, they've arguably probably got the best player in the comp in Jay Cox, and he's one that continuously gives us trouble, so we need to try and shut him down. But there's, you know, there's other guys that have stepped up that's uh, playing good footy, and they've got Brady Jones back in the team now, and I rate him very highly as well. I thought on Jay, he's just a positive footy for you guys. How do you have to try and put somebody on him for a whole match? Can you do that? Is he tagged? Uh, it's a tough one. 
we actually uh, went in with the same game plan with Taylor Whitford last week and uh, he cut us to pieces in the first quarter and we had to actually shut him down after that, which we did. But um, yeah, Coxie's a different one. He's just got an unbelievable goal sense and skills. Uh, he's got a good burst of speed from stoppages. But uh, yeah, look, how, how we actually shut him down, I don't know. We haven't done that successfully yet. So we've got a couple of plans for him this weekend and hopefully that works out. Expect a thought of play or do you think Brownie's just throwing a dart out there? No, I think he'll play. Um, we heard a little whisper on Monday that he tends to play. So um, look, we've planned all week for him to play. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, so obviously in a matchup, he's a quality player. Um, there's no doubt that he's done the work to get himself available to play. So if he does, we'll, we'll make sure we've got some plans in place for him. What sort of nick do you expect him to be if he does play? Oh, pretty good. Uh, I think he's always in pretty good nick. Um, I think he does a lot of weights and some running and stuff. And as uh, as Brownie said, him and him and Bryce have probably been spurring each other along for the last few weeks. So I expect him to be in pretty good nick. He's probably one of those guys that doesn't really have to be in that good nick anyway to have impact on the game. You said on Saturday after the game, mate, you feel a little bit uh, might be flying under the radar a little bit at the moment. You obviously feel as though they've really turned the corner. Yeah, I do. I think they've flown under the radar probably for the last month. Um, they've been playing some really good footy. Um, they're starting to get guys back from injury and um, some continuity in some of the players that have been new to the club. So I, I think they're, uh, they are flying under the radar. I think in the next four, six, seven weeks, you know, the rest of the school, uh, serious time, serious time, from September. Guys, um, you're right, you go, Brent. It's an important game in terms of the ladder this weekend, mate. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a big game. Uh, probably for both clubs. If, if we win, then we we probably stitch up a top three position. Um, if they win, then they're still in the hunt for that top three position. So, um, big game. Um, but it's like any other week, isn't it? We're going with the plan. We, we need to go out there and execute and, and get the job done. The, the players have been really good at doing that. So, we won't change anything this week. On, no, I was going to ask that one. On you, Foxy, mate. Does he lift himself for these games or has it just happened to be that he actually always performs well against Yeah, them? I just think it's probably... He, I think he performs well against most teams, but, um, you know, he just has a... I suppose he's won the last couple of games off his boot late in the quarter. So, uh, look, he, he's probably gotten hold of every team in the competition at some stage throughout his career. Um, the last couple of years or last couple of games, it's been Lauderdale. So, look, there's no doubt that they'll put some time into him. Um, and we need to probably have to think about uh, how we can expose them. Um, but a lot of it's around Jake. You can sort of give him a little bit of a licence. He's obviously played a, you know, a number of years, a number of quality years. So we'll, we'll let him have his head a little bit. And, um, if they tag him, drifting forward, those types of things. Um, so we'll let him run his own race a little bit. Any ins and outs for you guys? Um, this early stage? No. No. Jack, I uh, think the string twos last week, so he's got to miss. Otherwise, he definitely would have played. He'll be out for a bit then? Uh, he'll be out for... It's only a little one, grade one, so probably three weeks. Bit of a blow then? A little bit, yeah. Disappointing, but that's the way it is.